Hi and welcome back. I'm sure you understood a vague idea of what we discussed about the architecture in our last lectures ending about how we are going to be designing the event driven architecture in this particular section all the way from the inventories uh, queue like the inventory product queue and the inventory customer queue and listening and publishing the message. So we're going to touch base once again of what we are actually going to do in a demo. So this is the working application, right? So I'm going to run this particular application right now. But before I run this application, I will also show you that there is this rabbit MQ already running in my Docker over here. You can see that my rabbit MQ over here. So this is where it has already registered all the topics as well as the exchange queues and stuff. So let me go and log in it for you. And you will notice that I have the exchange, which is something but the topic.exchange over here. And you can see that in this topic.exchange, I already have the inventory.customer and the inventory.product queues. So if I click the inventory.customer queue, you will see that there is in last 10 minutes, there is no message flowing in. And similarly, if I go back to the inventory.product, there is no message being flown in as well. But you can see that it's all been binded using this topic.exchange over here. And this is where things are going to be very, very interesting. If I'm going to be an inventory service, I'm going to be publishing all the message into the product topic. And this is what is going to be listened by the customer service to perform its rest of operation. So let's go one by one and see what and how these things are working. So I'm going to run all the full application over here. It includes the service, the UI, and almost everything that you really require. So you can see that all the things are going to be spent up right now. And now I'm just going to use the API instead of the UI. I'm going to do a tryout. I'm going to remove this ID of zero, which I don't really require. And for the name, I'm actually going to probably give as monitor, something like that. And the quantities are going to be 200. And I'm going to hit execute. And once I do that, you'll notice that the product is already been created. So if I just go and do a get product, you notice that I will have a product name monitor. It has a 200 quantity. And instantly in the customer, if I just do a tryout and execute, you'll also see that there is a monitor of 200, the same product ID. And how is this happening? It's all happening because of the rabbit MQ. Do you notice that there is a spike over here? It actually tells you that there is a message being published in last 10 minutes. And this is what is being listened by our customer service to perform that operation. And once you perform any other operation, for example, you create any customer for that particular ID over here. So let's say I'm going to grab this ID and I'm going to the customer over here, hit the tryout, and I'm going to use this ID and i'm going to get rid of the right there i'm going to say karthik is going to buy at least 50 monitor out of the 200 monitors that we have so it has 200 monitors i'm going to use 50 monitors and once i do an execute over here and if i go into the inventory right now and if i do execute you will instantly notice that there are only 150 monitors so the updation is also happening and that's happening because if you go to the queue and inventory customer, you'll see that there is a spike in the inventory customer, which means the customer queue is also being published. So that publish is being listened by the inventory service to update itself. And now if I go and see the get customer, uh, you will notice that there is a Karthik who has used 50 item. And also if I get the details of the get products, there are 150 of them. So everything is happening in real time and it's because all the publishing of the methods are happening at the moment in the different topics. So all we require is we require two queues over here. One is the inventory.product queue and another one is the inventory.customer queue. And we also require an exchange, which is the topic.exchange over here. I'm not going to go too deep into writing and making you understand like how these things needs to be designed and stuff. Because if you just go ahead and search in the internet for writing a rabbit MQ C sharp example, you will see that there is a hello world tutorial of how you could actually do that. 
Now, all the explanation that I was just talking about in real time is already available in the code over here. So all you need is you need to have a RabbitMQ NuGet package. And once you added that, you then need to create a connection and then model and then the queues and the message and then the publishing operation. And then you need to specify the routing keys and the body. That's it. And the same thing is going to be consumed in the other end to perform the rest of the operation. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing in this particular section, but not in a very classical fashion. Rather, we are going to be doing it in a more better approach, which can be reusable.